I don't know why I haven't had a song by Half-Handed Cloud on here before. That is a, an egregious error on my part that I am now rectifying this day. Uh, that was Half-Handed Cloud to love like the father and son love each other. How cute. How cacophonous. Yippee. First Peter 2.9, y'all. Last day with this verse in... Uh, Devotion, in the strictest strictest sense, I suppose. Uh, I should have have it, had it memorized by now, but freezing. maybe it's not really freezing. Uh, it just froze for a sec. But you are italicized are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. That's right, it rhymes. His own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, who once were, italicized, not a people, but are, italicized, now the people of God, who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Beloved, I beg you, italicized, as sojourners and pilgrims. In the other version I read, aliens and strangers. Hmm, not near as pretty. But maybe it'll help you understand it. Abstain from fleshly lusts, which which war against the soul. War, y'all. War. Having your conduct honorable among the Gentiles, that when they speak against you as evildoers, evildoers, they may by your italicized good works which they observe glorify God in the day of visitation. Now, Part and partial of this that I was largely uh, ignoring, because it's the not fun part of this, is uh, the fact that this is certainly a supernaturally transformed uh, celebration here at all. Hooray, hooray for, for um, what, who we are now, who, what we can become, what we have become, what some shall still go on to become uh, under the mantle of Christ uh, living manifestation of God, creator of the universe. Straight up God. God. Um, <laughs> but then the part two, the reason it jumps right into this, and then it actually gets starts getting real specific right after this, is the your responsibility part. Now, if we wanted to, and uh, as of yet no one has wanted to in 371 episodes, uh, we could certainly get into all... Uh, manner of discussion, lively debate, uh, verbal scrummage about uh, sovereignty and free will and whether we really, our responsibility really almost even exists. We're all here kind of like um, actors in a play um, to for a lesson plan that maybe isn't even about us. Could be about another, uh, uh, this could be about the spiritual realm, could be about everyone else but us. Who knows? We don't know. We don't know don't know. We know there's a loving God who for some reason wants to have Congress with us, uh, despite ourselves, despite that we were not a people, that we were just hard scrabble uh, group of hockey playing misfits, like Mighty Ducks, except maybe not playing hockey. A hard scrabble group of life playing misfits, like the Mighty Ducks, only not playing hockey, which is why I didn't mention hockey this second time. And he took us, shaped us, and asks of us, this is a responsibility portion, asks of us to be this, to abstain from fleshly lusts, to seek out within ourselves and also allow him to seek out within ourselves and pay attention uh, to what he tells us. Um, 
on how we should be. Because to simply be conscripted, hey, but you are, but wait, it says are, italicized are, a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. I'm by no means suggesting uh, that this is constantly something he's dangling and going to snatch from your hands, but rather the joy of this, the joy of citizenry uh, with freedom, with power, comes responsibility, like Spidey says. That responsibility is to be diligent and fervent in our proclaiming praises, and not only simply proclaiming praises with our mouth, but with our very lives, you know, with obedience. And how? Abstaining from fleshly lusts, finding the source of everything that we seek to fulfill, inst instinctual or semi-instinctual or informed, because uh, the world kind of wants to wrestle us, seeking the point, the or point of origin for all things and fulfilling it in him or in the style that he would like us to fulfill it. That goes for everything. For parties, for sex, for love, for service. That all things be consecrated, that we be a holy nation, caught out of darkness, but operating in light, in full light. You know what I mean? In full... Uh, uh, Awareness, uh, revelation, self-revelation. And that's a tricky thing, man. It's a daily diligence thing. That's hard to have the energy to, like, examine oneself and one's motivations on every dang thing. But y'all, you know. Twinge. Peep for the twinge is what I do. I find it helpful. Don't ignore the twinge, which is also what I do, which is not helpful. Peep the twinge. Twinge of conscience. Go ahead and examine Examine, pray, offer it up. And just tell God every day. I've been telling God pretty much every day. Do with me what you will. Find what you don't like. Kill it. Slam it. Change it. Kill it. Raise it up again as what you desire. I have this instinct that leads me to, to sin. That leads me to be rude, to think nasty things about people, to get all angry and stubborn. And no, I am not open. I am not wide open to be a conduit for him. You gotta be open on all sides, man, for him to conduit through you. Watch the twinge. Clean it up, y'all. Amen, say lot.